it came. This is uh, from my friend Ben. He was selling a couple of things and this is one of them. And it is a 35 millimeter film camera. So it is very strange looking. I'm really keen to try it. It's a half frame 35 mil camera, which means that it shoots half the negative. I'm gonna give this a go loading the film. So I know that this latch opens the film back and then you load it in there. Canister goes in like that. And then it says to the tab under the red, like that. And then do I just close it and hope for the best? I think it's loaded. Well, I guess I'm gonna shoot this roll um, and then I'll come back and we'll look at the pictures and we'll have a chat about it. Let's, uh, let's make this the first picture. <laughs> Picture time! It is several days later, as in like, like six days later. <laughs> um, and I put a roll through this camera. And do I recommend this camera? Short answer, no. Long answer, maybe. <laughs> it is a fun camera. It's a very easy camera to use. And I think that it's the perfect camera to, to just pass off to people at a party and let them play with, blah, blah, blah. I'll put the photos up on screen. They'll be popping up while I'm talking. Um, my main issue with this camera is that so many photos that I take are out of focus and in situations where really they shouldn't be out of focus. Um, like broad daylight where I'm trying to focus on a very large subject and there is no manual focus on this thing so there is no option for me to do it myself. So that was really my biggest issue is like literally half of my photos are out of focus. And the ones that are in focus, because it's half frame, you're not getting as much quality in your scans as you would be if it was using the full 35 millimeter frame. So it's it's good, they're fine, the photos are fine, but they're not gonna be anything of professional quality or professional grade. Some of my favorite photos that I took were the ones at night at the gas station. They're all out of focus, but the vibe that they have is very fun. And I really do think that it is not a camera that you're going to, you know, do a professional shoot with. This is a camera you're gonna to bring to a party, pass around, let people take pictures and have a good time. One interesting thing is the, the ability to turn on and off the date function. So it does have a date function within the camera that lets you have the date show up in your photos, um, which I really enjoyed. And there's, I think I only took two pictures that have the date on them, but I think that's a really nice feature to have, particularly if you're just using it as a snapshots camera rather than as a professional grade photography tool. And I really think that that's the distinction that you have to make. This is a for fun camera. This is not a professional photography tool. This is not going to get you results that you are going to publish. This is going to get you results that you are going to put in a photo album or post on Facebook or post on Instagram or your Instagram story, whatever. So final conclusion, no, I don't recommend this camera for professionals. Yes, I recommend this camera if you're looking for a fun film camera and you want one step above just a general disposable camera that you can buy at a camera store. That's it. Those are all my thoughts on this camera. I'm going to keep using it because I think it's fun and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.